All right, we're here with a familiar face to Montrealers, former Expo Ellis Valentine with that great smile that he's still got. Uh, you're going to be back in town next April for this Expo's Fest. Can you tell us just a little bit about that, what what, what it involves? Well, still, it's going to bring some former players back here to Montreal that will kind of familiarize a lot of the people with what we used to have here. And uh, the, the whole Expo, Expo Fest is really just to, to kind of raise money for uh, pediatric cancer. DIPG, which is something that Perry is very um, passionate about, and when he asked me to get involved, I uh, thought that it was a it was a great idea. All right, now, when you come back to the city, what goes through your mind when you come back and visit Montreal? What memories do you have? Good ones. Uh, a lot of emotions. Uh, you know, just a lot of good memories. Mm -hmm. Now, you were like a king in this city. Do you remember your first? Memory of Montreal. Well, I was the a king now. <laughs> oh wow! I had to tell my wife that. <laughs> what was your first memory when you first came to Montreal? Uh, yeah, well, it just the people. You know, uh, there was a, just a love affair. You know that we had, and and I know you know sometimes you know, you know friends, family, uh, siblings, you fall out. You know, and that's what it felt like. You know, uh, a family separation uh, when I when I was traded to the Mets. But uh, you know, it, there's no real resentment. There's no real hatred towards it. It's just, just all fond memories. Now, I know you had uh, some good times here. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, you've battled alcohol sure. and drugs in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been clean for quite a long time. Uh, 29 now. years. 29 years. When you look back at your days here, is there anything you would go back and change? Or if you could tell the younger Els Valentine something, what would it be? Yeah, a, a, a lot of us say that. I wish I knew now, what, knew what I know now then. Uh, you can't you can't do that, but I mean you know it, it is what it is. It, it 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 everything that happened to me then made me the person I am today, and I like me today. I know you were always known for your cannon of an arm. Uh, I know on your Twitter feed you have a picture of Terry Mosher drawing yeah. of the cannon arm. Yeah. What was your most memorable throw? Throwing somebody out or uh... Uh, the most memorable throw of my career was uh, my uh, my throw in uh, New York with. Uh, throwing out Pete Rose because okay. Pete Rose was a, a very astute base runner mm -hmm. and he did not run on you very often and if he did run on you he knew that he had uh, a, a chance of making it just just like what happened that time there he thought he had a chance of making it he had that one that one little percent that he didn't think about and that was me do you have a message you'd want to pass along to Expo fans who haven't seen your, your face or your smile in a while or something you'd like to say to them yeah, don't switch over to the Blue Jays. <laughs> <laughs> so for this Expos Fest, where people are thinking about coming apart from getting to see you, what what other reasons would... Uh... They're only coming to see me. <laughs> They're not coming to see anything else. It's got to be me. <laughs> who, who are some of the other guys coming you might be looking for? Well, Vladimir time? Guerrero's coming, which is very uh, uh, heartwarming for me. You got uh, Andres Galarraga. You also have... Um, uh, I think Jose Vidro is coming also, and, and uh, Marquise Grissom. Thanks a lot for this, Ellis. My pleasure, Steve. All right, Thanks. buddy. All right. All right. That was great. Thanks <laughs> so much. My pleasure.